that's what the sirens are that we heard. That's awful black. It is. Says 45% chance at 6, 85% chance at 7, 100% chance at 8. That's what the weather says. In the morning? Yeah, in the morning. I think you got it. Falling temperatures. Since I'm doing onesies and twosies. You'll get double sixes right now with right. the wind. Oh, it's good enough. You got double five. She won. She come back from behind and beat me. That was close. One left. One left. And I beat you. Okay. So, she has won two matches in a row. In backgammon, which is unheard of. Yes, never happens. Because Jim can do doubles like you wouldn't believe. You guys can even see the white cups on the lake. Yeah, it it's blowing. Can't hardly see the other side of the lake over there.
Welcome back. Today is Tuesday. We had rain all day. Monday. All last night. It was still raining this morning. So we went in and got up, got around, fixed our lunch. It's about eleven forty five. We book proper lunch to first and or blind. Yeah, we're gonna set till sunset. Still pretty windy. Winds out of the northwest. So it's hit me in the face going back up behind me. It's supposed to calm down closer to evening. actually saw a buck chasing the doe coming through here and went through this way. So we moved over a little bit. I didn't have a shot. Really couldn't even see how big it was. So big enough I could see it was a buck. Don't know if you will luck out. Maybe I'll let's get something on video for you guys to see. Alright, pop on. Video just doesn't do it justice. The sky's on fire tonight. Beautiful sunset. Well, I saw. Well, I saw ten, but I know there was eleven. <laughs> Cause three went come in behind me, and one took off running, and the other two were standing there looking, and I saw them too. But. I About five o'clock. Uh, Five does came. They were probably over 200 yards away though. Never really came out. And I looked up kind of behind me and back. Probably three, 400 yards. And there was a big buck up on a no working his way down to him. So, of course I didn't have a shot. But it was nice. <laughs> Maybe we'll look out this week. Alright. Tomorrow's Wednesday. It's supposed to be cool. Good day. Come back and see us.
bird you're looking at is a kingfisher. There's been one that's probably a descendant of the other ones I've seen on this creek for all these years. But he'll fly up and down the creek. <laughs> Hey y'all, just wanted to give a little update. It's uh, day five of muzzleloading season here in Oklahoma. Uh, today is a beautiful day in God's great outdoors. Light winds, low was in the upper 30s. It's not supposed to get to 70 today, which beats what we had opening weekend with highs near 90 and winds 20 to 40 and gusts to 50. Uh, we had about two inches of rain on Monday Monday night and Tuesday morning, and which was much needed. The ground just soaked it up like a sponge. It's not even hardly muddy, but we'll take all we can get. Um, there was a big fire to the west of us over the weekend, and it put it out. So that's that's a good thing. Um, been seeing a few deer. Haven't seen anything that we want to shoot yet uh, today. It's a new moon phase, so the moon is rising, and it's going to be straight up overhead about 2, 2.15. So we're going to sit till about then. i got to go into work tomorrow, so we don't want to be out here till dark, and she went right at dark and be up all night. So Anyway, uh, I had a few come in behind me this morning. I was trying to film an otter in the, in the creek, and as soon as I grabbed the the, the camera, the, I heard something run behind me and had a few does and a yearling come in behind me this morning. Uh, Brenda saw a few deer yesterday. I didn't see any. We sat almost all day yesterday. We got out here about 10 o'clock. We sat till dark because it was uh, still raining pretty hard and blowing pretty hard yesterday morning. We had a storm come through uh, Monday. I bet the wind blew 60 miles an hour. It was, it was rocking the camper, but our camper's uh, is pretty heavy. It weighs about 12,000 pounds. So, but anyway, uh, just thought I'd give you guys a little update. Y'all take care. God bless. And it's just beautiful, guys. Kim just got back to camp and. Look what God gave us tonight. Oh my goodness. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, my Lord. Sorry, taking pictures. Isn't that just gorgeous? I'll shut up now so y'all can enjoy.
we just made it home. And guess what? We need the rain. So I guess it decided to rain. We gotta finish unpacking the trailer. Look how the trees changed in the yard. Some of them have already lost all their leaves. That one had leaves on it when we left. That one's turning yellow. Pretty back up the hill. That one's pretty. Pretty, pretty. See what these look like. This one's still green. It may not turn red. Some of this one's turned red. Oh, and the other one's turned yellow. Crunchy, crunchy. Oh, how pretty. Y'all probably can't see it. They still haven't all changed. This is where my garden's going to be next year. We got to put up a fence around put those up because it wasn't level all of goes downhill oh uh, yeah the wind blows a little bit all those will be gone so pretty oh yeah well I don't think so but okay pretty pretty Pretty, pretty. You know that one there by the... By Sally. It hasn't started yet. We gotta finish unloading the trailer. It's not raining as much as it was. Alright, well that finished off our week of muzzle loading. And uh, we're back home. Gotta go back to work tomorrow. So, no luck. I did see a big buck today. Uh, this morning, of course it wasn't close enough. So hopefully if he doesn't run away, he'll stay around till rifle season. So, alright guys, I'll get these uploaded and this will be part two. Because Jim did get quite a bit of uh, deer videos, so that was one. And I'll upload, I got like four videos ready to go. So, y'all come back and see me. Bye bye.